Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. This is Coralust. Those of you who were here with us yesterday, you saw the start of this series. And this is the old SPS dominant reef tank before we set up Coralust West Side. So this is our original tank. And now we took out 400 pounds of rock that were in here. We cleaned the tank out and it is going to be a predator tank. So we're putting in sand right now. We're cleaning it out and then we're gonna put some more rock back in and design it, but it's gonna be for all big fish and fun looking fish. So I've always wanted angels and with the reef tanks, it's hard to have the angels. So this time I'm not really gonna put any corals in and if I do, we'll just observe the angels and see what happens and see what they eat. So the tank's completely bare. Eric's over there cleaning out the sand. Uh, we have rock from the store. We have the Marco rock, the shelf which is pretty awesome. So we're gonna take some of those pieces and some of the old rocks that I had. So these are all now dried out and we'll just give them a quick rinse and then we'll throw them in the new display. So this is one of my favorite pieces that we actually chiseled out and it's got a really cool swim through for the fish and beautiful slants for corals and different things to grow. So, and then we have different shells. So we have plenty of pieces to choose from, but I don't wanna overdo it. So I wanna keep this tank really open so there's lots of room for the eels, for the lionfish and the predators. So let me um, give you guys a quick little info of what sand we're using. Um, I didn't just wanna go with the regular, the white crushed coral aragonite that I usually use. I did wanna go with something a little bit more interesting and different. So what we have here is a combination of pretty much all the sands that we have at the store. Um, so I picked out some white, we have some black, and we have some fine sands. So there's a little bit of different. Each one has its own purpose. And the one of the things I like about the finer sand is that it gives it more surface area for bacteria as opposed to the larger granules. So it's good to have both. Um, depending on what you do and the size of your tank and how much flow you have, fine sand can be a pain because it does get all over the place. Sometimes you'll have a fish that likes to dive down like a goby or a trigger. He'll take a mouthful of sand and he'll spit it all over your rocks. So that's something you have to think about and um, always be observing because you'll wonder why some of your corals are getting buried. And it's just something, to, like I said, to think about. So what we're gonna do is mix the fine sand with the more coarse sand. So that way, the finer granules are gonna settle to the bottom. They'll still give us that beneficial anaerobic bacteria but the larger black granules should always float to the top. So that's something we're gonna see what happens with that. But with this finer sand, and even got some live sand, and then the regular um, Ocean Direct, this stuff's awesome. So we should get a really, really cool um, mixed diversity in there. So Eric's finishing up the Hawaiian. That stuff is, like I said, one of my favorites, the black. Making soup. <laughs> So he's just rinsing it out so the tank stays nice and clean. I will have to run socks on there for a little bit, even though we do have the massive refugium under there, the 55 gallon, and we also have one under the ruby red sump, the trigger sump. So, but I'm just gonna, like you said, pimp this thing out. So we do have a shark getting delivered today. We do have a blue line trigger. We do have the diamond blue dot stingray coming. So that'll be really cool to see. So I'll keep you guys informed on that. And then also something cool I wanted to show you, I do have some vinyl coverings. So for the overflow boxes, I'm gonna be selling some custom vinyl coverings. So if anybody's interested in one of those, if you have an exposed overflow box or something like that that gets kind of unsightly, let me know um, and I can sell you one of our custom vinyl coverings for those things. As same with these things over here. I don't like an open tank because then you have rasses and things jumping here. So we have our Coralust acrylic. It's got the cut for the heater on the side and it basically just protects the overflow box. So there's that. I need to clean that up, but quiets down the tank a lot as well. Just having that lid over there really, really quiets it down. So anyway, guys, stay tuned. We will do another follow-up later on. As always, thanks for watching. Happy reading.